demonstration. Human remains of a young girl discovered in a Victorian era coffin unearthed during a construction project five years ago in Sanford. And now, thanks to DNA and genealogy, historians are one step closer to actually learning who she is. WMW News 8's Jim Keithley has the update on the case that we've been following since 2017. It's like it wasn't even acknowledged that she was missed, but we're not going to miss her. We're, we're going to find out. Paul Oje is on a mission. He's a historian and a history teacher at Sanford High School. He was driving down Main Street in May 2017, glanced over at the construction site for a new Cumberland Farms, and knew they had found another coffin. I saw a bunch of police officers and maybe some firefighters and construction people in a big group looking down, and I knew immediately what had happened. He got a closer look. This coffin, I'd never seen anything like this. It was completely degraded. There was almost no wood left. There was an old school on this corner. It had been torn down. Then there was a playground. But it was Woodlawn Cemetery in the old days. It took years to move all the bodies to the new Goodall Cemetery down the road. It's not unusual in old burial grounds that they miss someone or more. OJ involved his students to help solve this archaeological mystery. They found ribs, finger bones, and pieces of a jawbone with half a dozen teeth still intact. And then we found some more coffin parts. We found four handles, two large keys that were quite rusted. Turns out coffin keys were a thing in the Victorian era. Most hauntingly, pieces of glass. A broken pane of glass and we figured out that it was right where the head was. So the coffin had a window. They enlisted the help of a national organization, DNA Doe Project, which has successfully solved more than 90 cases by uploading information into genealogy sites like Ancestry.com to search for a match. Jennifer Randolph is based in New Hampshire and works for the DNA Doe Project. So we need a good profile, good matches, and good records to be able to make the identification. This, this poor little kid was forgotten. His mission to find out who this girl was and if she has any surviving relatives. If we can do her justice, put a name to her and put her in a real final resting place wherever it is, that to me is the most important thing. And maybe that resting place is in the Goodall Cemetery where all the other bodies were moved. Maybe she belongs here. Could be. Her, her parents could be right behind us somewhere. This little girl, you know, we're going to find out pretty soon. And after all these years, the mystery of who this little girl is just might be solved in the next few months. In Sanford, Jim Keithley, WMTW News 8.